hey guys welcome back to my channel and today of course we have another diy video I'm not sure what day it is of the diy challenge because i'm way late but nonetheless we here sis we're here so if you're new to my channel welcome hopefully you stick around and subscribe so today's video we're going to be making fur throw um, area rugs and this is the original area rug that i made like a year or two ago it's worn out beat up you know so i just want to go ahead and remake a new one and i also wanted to take the time to answer some questions that i saw in the comment section on the first video that i made so we're gonna need two things for this project e6000 which you see me you know shaking right here and the fur throws of your choice the ones that i'm using came from walmart they were 888 okay they were 888 but you're more than welcome to go to target or you know wherever else sells fur throws and get you something a little bit better quality because i'm not gonna lie these are not really the best fur throws like i was actually looking for something a little bit furrier or more furry whoa <laughs> but anyways um yeah we're just gonna work with what we got <laughs> for now So for the remainder of this video, it's going to be a combination of answering questions from the previous fur throw rug that I made and also explaining what I'm doing here for those who may not have seen the first video. So as of right now, I'm just taking both of the fur throws and just spreading them out on the ground and then making sure they're lined up evenly because you definitely don't want to start gluing and realize that you have a rectangle on one side and a square on the other okay you want to make sure that the longer sides match up with the longer sides and the short ones match up with the short one okay so anywho once you you know kind of figured out where you want everything to be you're gonna go ahead and grab your e6000 and literally all you're doing is applying it along the edge of one fur throw and attaching it or you know holding it together on the other fur throw okay so super super easy diy it's very affordable it's very quick the only thing i recommend for this particular diy is if this area rug that you're making is going in a high traffic room i would not suggest doing this when people are home because the E6000 does take time to actually stick and bond. So again, if you have high traffic areas, you may not wanna put this there, at least for the first 24 hours. After that, you're solid. You can move it wherever you want. Um, some people also asked as far as like with the maintenance of this, how do you keep up with it? And you treat it like it's a regular blanket. You throw that thing in the washer after a week or two and you clean it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what else you want me to tell you, but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how you maintain the cleanliness of it. Okay. So that was that question. Um, another question that someone asked was, if I knew that I could get a rug stopper? And the answer is yes, I did know that and I chose not to because at the time I was a little short on cash and I could not afford to get the second rug stopper that I needed for the video. So I just went ahead and rocked it without it. And to be honest, over time, you do become more aware of the rug it's kind of like one of those things where you just form a habit of being more aware of what's around you, your surroundings. So, I mean, I live by myself, so it's not really that hard to just adjust something if it slides out of place or whatever. But um, if you are someone who really just can't stand a rug being out of place or anything like that, then yes, I would recommend the rug stopper. But again, this particular video was done to show you that you can get away with doing the very bare minimum and still getting a nice you know look or finish for whatever room you're trying to spruce up um now i remember some other people asked me in the video if you could vacuum this and yes you definitely can but of course you want to make sure you have your rug stopper because 
Um, there won't be anything like weighing down your quote unquote rug. So it would be easier to get caught up in the uh, vacuum. But like I said earlier, the easiest way to clean this is to take it outside, shake off any debris that comes in your rug and then throw it in the wash. So I normally do that like once every week or every other week to maintain the cleanliness. And the E6000 does wear off over time. Like I said, I made the first rug like over a year ago, maybe two years by now. So, you know, it did start to separate in the middle where the E6000 was holding the rugs together. But I mean, a simple re-glue would fix that. But like I also said, the because you're walking on it, it does wear down the throw over time. So keep that in mind, you guys. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the final look of this rug. And for those who are curious, yes, I still have my mirror coffee table right there. <laughs> um, if you guys want to see how I created that, I do have a video on my channel. I'll try and link it down below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss tomorrow's DIY. And share this video with a friend that you think might find this interesting and helpful for their lifestyle. All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.